So this is how I build uh, most of my systems now. It's actually the first system that I ever built, and I've gone back to it. Uh, I use a Commander 64 tote, 64 gallon tote. That's from Lowe's. Um, then I use uh, a two and seven eighths hole saw. I'll find it here. Two and seven eighths right here. And I use that to drill my holes. If you watch my other videos, you'll see how to do all this. I'm just giving people that wanted to know how to build it this way, uh, how to do it. So obviously I drilled out my holes. I picked eight uh, because I wanted to do two misters uh, in between all the four and then another mister spraying this way. Um, so as you can see, I put all my tees around here. I got the misters inside the tees. Um, I'm using... Uh, an arrow box, which I hope to get back up again soon, guys. It just backed up on orders. Um, and I'm going to plug it in. Uh, hold on, let me show you the other stuff. So uh, inside of here, you can see I put a 3 8 bulkhead down at the bottom there. And that can work as your drain or if you wanted to return it back. On the inside here, you can see how the nozzles all sit in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna plug in the solenoid so you guys can see how this works here. Notice that I have my solenoid and the tank are very close. I want them as close as possible, preferably not over two feet. This is what you get for mist. I'm only using one, two, three, four, five, six nozzles on one solenoid. Tank is pre-pressurized with 80 PSI or about 78 PSI air. My pressure, uh, pressure switch is set at uh, 80 and 100. Um, and then I have a timer over here. Pretty much everything that I have in my other systems, other videos, I just wanted to show people how I actually build the commander. And it's really simple. Um, you can differentiate your whole top. The great thing is, is that this whole top separates from the actual base. If you wanna buy something like this that has a bunch of holes in it, they cost like $900,000. Um, if you put a little elbow grease into it, um, put some nozzles, whatever you wanna put them on, this is basically it. And this chamber will give you enough air space in there to really protect from uh, changing temperatures. If you've got it in a hot room, um, the bigger the container, the, the better. Uh, some people like to put a bunch of two inch holes, two inch, two inch, two, two inch. I think you could do 36 two inch holes on the top of this. Um, if you're doing the sea of green or you want to grow really quick that way, uh, go for it. Um, I usually let my plants grow for more than three months or so. Um, so I like to set it up this way. Uh, and when it grows up, I'm obviously scrogging with a trell uh, with a net. So these guys only come up to about here and then start growing flat. So they can grow close. Two are going to go out this direction and keep going out. That way I get a nice even grow from it. And then I get the speed from the growth on this. If I need to replace anything or change anything, I can easily just open this guy up, take it out, remove it, do whatever I need to do. Uh, plug it in one more time. Obviously I'm using a timer uh, to control the solenoid. Again, you can see all this in my other videos. I'm just showing you how I made this one box. So I just plugged in the solenoid again. Get an idea of the mist that you get.